Freeze! <laughs> Do you find the place easily? I followed the arrows. Mr. Peabody, hurry, come quick! There you go! Magnificent, huh? Huh? What's that? An individual shower! Say goodbye to collective showers! <laughs> I want to give the prisoners their privacy back! Privacy back! Next! Hmm. I have a plan. The showers equal pipes. And what do pipes equal? The pipes also equal sewers. And what do sewers equal? Escape? What? It's not it? Whoever you are, come out of Avril's body now. Ooh. Ooh. No, stop that. You're scaring me. <laughs> So, we're going to escape using the evacuation pipes. We're going to escape without digging holes? No need, because it's already done. <laughs> They're here! They came from the planet to abduct me! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Let's go! Hmm? <laughs> oh, it's too narrow! Help me out! Hmm? Not with the shovel! Come on, try using your head. Mm. Ah. Oh, forget about it. It was all just an image. Hmm, I need some soap. Mm. Oh, so that's how soap looks like. This is all that's left? Averill ate the rest. <laughs> all right, this is Operation Getting Soap. I want a pile of soap this high. Uh, no offense, Joe, but that ain't high. It's actually this small. No. <laughs> Let's trade your soap for this big bone. You're wasting your time. I am incorruptible. <laughs> Pity my weak soul. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. Time for a change of plan. A soap order? Well, you've got to admit that there is a lot of surface area to wash. We're four. That's four arms, four legs, four feet. Proper hygiene is the key to all virtues. We need to encourage them, Peabody. You're absolutely right. Hygiene sounds fantastic. They love it in Washington. Oh, let's encourage. <laughs> the soap! Huh? What a waste. We could make such great snacks. Come on, it's shower time. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're trying to enter my brain. Uh, I can't disappoint them. <laughs> <laughs> this time it'll slide easily. <laughs> it worked. If I was somebody else, I would be admiring me. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, you idiot! Where is over here? Over there! Okay, now I see. Did someone bring a map to get out of here? Oh, stop complaining. <laughs> huh? No! no! That 
that's different from the usual smoke signs. I don't read in bubbles anyway. I got ten dollars on Joe. Deal. No, not the rifles. Don't hurt the four life prisoners. They're profitable for a hundred years. How about in three shots? <laughs> 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 Here they are! Oh, beings made of light, take me with you! I'm ready! Go back to your cell before I tear you off a strip! And about that thing, dismantle it and let's forget it ever happened. Mr. Peabody, if I may, I have an idea to use this, um, uh, this thing. No more spending? Mm. <laughs> yes! Go! Turn to one of the blue team. Deal! I have a plan! <laughs>
do 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 What are you doing, Mr. Peabody? I have drawn up plans for an accommodation suited to my importancism. <laughs> uh, have you found someone to deal with construction? Yeah, us! <laughs> Building is a family tradition with the Daltons. No! Ah, now that's excellent news, don't you agree? <laughs> but hey, Joe, you know what? Apart from bank robberies, we're not so good at manual labor in the family. Shut up, you big ninnies. Take a look and admire. My new plan. Getting out is a piece of cake. You pull hard, I fly over the wall, I hold the rope tight, and you just slide down it. Ta-da! And we're free! Thank you, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> Uh, it's war time, and the soldiers are preparing our defenses. Private Renton Dumb at your service. Go! No! Gotta make that rope longer. Go! Too long. Watch out, here comes Mr. Peabody. Hurry to your places! Ah, so work has started at last. <laughs> Everything all right? You aren't using cement. Come along, leave him to it. This sure looks like a cannon that could blast a hole in a wall. All we need is an explosive. Chili con carne, an explosive recipe! <laughs> oh. They're testing a secret weapon! I'm supposed to get inside! <laughs> <laughs> Accidents happen on work sites, but now it's time to move on. Keep an eye on them, Pete. Okay, we build the house, and as soon as the wall hides us, we escape. I have another plan. Better than Peabody's, right? Ah! <laughs> we are doing my plan. <laughs> He can't see anything. Cut that out, you ninny. We're leaving. We attack the wall. That's too hard. The white stone up there is soft limestone. You can slice it through like butter. <laughs> so you're smart when you feel like A it. A window is an excellent idea, but put bars over it. Otherwise, it's an invitation to escapism. <laughs> I know how to find more white stone. Avril has a new plan for you, Mr. Peabody, sir. Superb. I approve this design. A major director like yourself deserves an equally major building. Why, wow, your plan is superb, Avril. Have you seen this? A true palace. This is shoddy work. It's ridiculous. I don't like it. Who cares? If it holds up long enough for us to pierce the wall. Arr! There's granite under the limestone. Guest rooms? My goodness, you'll be lost in all this space. White marble? A billiards room? That's white moss. A private gym? White granite? That's wild. There's no way out of this prison. It's too solidly built. Yeah, professional workmanship, not like you guys. I tower over you in my skills. Tower over us? <laughs> I think I have an idea. A tower with my apartments on top and a crank lift to bring people up? Ah, oh, I love it. Me too. There. Since we can't get over the walls, we're going over them. We leave tonight. 
We can't leave everything in a mess like this. It's totally unprofessional. Someone stole my chili con carne again. The enemy is approaching. Stay alert, Private. And we take the high road. <laughs> hmm? What are you doing down there? We cannot leave badly constructed buildings like this. It's too dangerous. Don't worry, it's a slow burning fuse. We have time to get out. <laughs> I'm knocking you into orbit! <laughs> Danger's over! You change that chili con carne recipe right now! You were right. After all, we're better off in our little homes. <laughs> right, Daltons? I hope you won't sabotage the work this time! A spoonful of chili forever! No, oh. Hmm, nothing interesting. Huh? I have a plan. Huh? Read this. Tater fritters with bacon for four people, four kilos ah. of... Hurricane threatens Louisiana. Cormac City prison evacuated. One, imminent catastrophe. Two, panic. Three, prison evacuated. Four, escape! But there's no hurricane here. Who cares? What counts is that Peabody believes a catastrophe is coming. <laughs> Mr. Peabody, something terrible is about to happen. Well, 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 what terrible thing? <laughs> Something really terrible! Look at the signs! There! Vulture is soaring! Huh? Mm -hmm. I saw a black cat! The kid? Where's the kid? Dogs howl mournfully! <laughs> Flies write messages in the air! Catastrophe! <laughs> Greetings, everybody! This month, I am selling this fabric woven from Coyote here for $10. Wear it as a... a loincloth, or a shawl, or a bath towel, and... An Indian prophecy! Catastrophe! Absolutely right! Lovely fabric plus Indian prophecy for catastrophe for only $20! That's scary! We must evacuate the prison! Come on, nothing but a bunch of silly superstition out of the question. But, uh, the signs. What signs? I'll believe a catastrophe is heading here when chickens grow teeth. <laughs> Avril and Jack, find the chickens. We'll get the teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you ninny! Ta da! Huh? Well, where are the hens? <coughs> Did Peabody say when eggs grow teeth? This was more discreet. We just need to hatch them. Ah. Cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> Maybe there was a chicken disguised as a cat. That one! Me too! Now I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> the teeth! <laughs> that tickled! <laughs> huh? <gasps> Here he comes! <laughs> Mr. Peabody, look! Behind you! Chickens with teeth! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We can't wait forever, Mr. Peabody! What chickens? Ah! 
If you fly once again, fly forever! <laughs> so, what does the cloth say? Oh, it's not so easy. A snake or tree? <laughs> and flying teeth, what does that sign mean? Uh -huh. But since I'm telling you that chickens grew teeth, we have to evacuate! Joe, I will evacuate the prison. When donkeys fly. <laughs> huh? When a dog starts acting strange, can it be a sign of catastrophe, Mr. Peabody? Sometimes it's better not to think about things like that. <laughs> Look! A flying donkey! <laughs> oh, no. It's not flying. Hey, oh! What do you mean it's not flying? Flying means being in movement. That one. Oh, come flirting. on, don't be so fussy. That donkey is flying! Anyway, it's not a donkey, it's a mule. Huh? Well, it's a flying mule! No, no, it's floating. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying this, we're in for a catastrophe. We will leave when a herd of pink elephants dances the polka on the trampoline in a rainstorm of violin playing frogs. Uh, this could take some time, but it could happen. Oh. Uh, certain information related to the legends of uh, flying teeth tell us that the catastrophe will take place in uh, uh, 12 minutes. And now this cloth is worth $45. <gasps> ah, something's on fire in the sky! Someone save us! Where? Say, these broken wing catastrophes aren't all that spectacular. We're safe. <laughs> Well, are you Dalton boys still holed up? <laughs> this plan was a catastrophe for real. Huh?